Michael Jordan was hesitant. It was 1997, just before the start of the NBA season, which was anticipated to end with Jordan's retirement and the breakup of the Chicago Bulls. Coming off their team's fifth championship title, Jordan, fellow players Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman and coach Phil Jackson were expected to go their separate ways at season's end, closing the book on one of sport's greatest dynasties. At the time, current NBA commissioner Adam Silver was the head of NBA Entertainment, which produced championship videos and other content. He had approached the game's biggest star during the McDonald's Championship in Paris about the possibility of embedding a camera crew with the Bulls to chronicle their last hurrah. Silver had gotten the idea from Andy Thompson, a producer with the company. I told him, if we let the Bulls and Michael Jordan be broken up and retire without shooting a year in the life of this team and this franchise and this player, we will forever regret it," recalled Thompson, now vice president of NBA Entertainment. For historical purposes, let's get this in the can. Jackson, who was also in Paris, had no objection to the proposal, but Jordan wasn't so sure. Sensing his wariness, according to Thompson, Silver told the superstar, look, the least that will go wrong is that you'll have a great championship DVD or a great home movie for your kids in five years. Jordan said yes. What the film crew captured has never seen the light of day. Until now. After vanishing into a vault for more than 20 years, the candid, fly-on-the-wall, footage from that winning season has finally resurfaced in, The Last Dance, the epic docuseries about Jordan and the Bulls that premieres Sunday on ESPN. A co-production of the Sports Network and Netflix, the project also features archival video and in-depth interviews with Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, Jackson and numerous others. Jason Hayer, who directed the docuseries, called it a revelation, and not only for sports fans, this will tell the fans who saw the Bulls what they didn't know, while also letting them see what Michael and the others were like. This is also for a generation that only know Michael as a logo on a shoe. We tell his story in a comprehensive way so they can understand who this team was and why they're so revered to this day. Though Jordan and the Bulls are at the core of The Last Dance, the documentary transcends the sports arena, and can be compared to the Oscar-winning, O.J., Made in America, in which an extensive examination of the life of O. Simpson and his infamous murder trial served as the pivot point for a larger conversation about American culture, racial tensions and the obsession over celebrity. This shows the global commodification of American pop culture, said Hayer. He pointed out that Jordan became a figure bigger than sports at a time when social media and the internet did not exist.